In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to enter statutory paternity leave after a child is placed for adoption and apply statutory paternity pay for an employee. Firstly, select payroll followed by the employee's name on the left to access their payslip. Under statutory pay, click the calendar button and on the employee's calendar, select the child's placement date. Click the Parenting Leave option to the right of the screen and choose Paternity Leave Adoption from the list. On the next screen, complete the Dates section accordingly and select the employee's length of leave from the drop-down menu. The matching week will automatically be calculated. BrightPay will automatically calculate the employee's average weekly earnings to determine whether the employee is entitled to SPP. However, should you wish to override this automatic calculation, simply untick the box provided and manually enter the employee's average weekly earnings. This may be needed if you are using BrightPay for the first time and the employee's relevant period for calculating their average weekly earnings falls in the previous tax year. To retain the information entered, click Save. The employee's calendar will automatically be updated with their paternity leave. Press Close to return to the employee's payslip. BrightPay will automatically calculate and apply any SPP due when the paternity leave period begins. In the event that sufficient historical payroll data isn't available within BrightPay to calculate the employee's average weekly earnings, but you are aware that they are entitled to receive SPP based on previous payroll records, simply click on the Edit button and tick to override the average weekly earnings calculation followed by the average weekly earnings amount. To view or edit the employee's paternity leave details at any time, click Edit followed by View Edit Details. BrightPay will continue to apply any SPP due until the paternity leave end date is reached. In the event that an employee decides to work in any week of their paternity leave period, they will no longer be entitled to that week's statutory paternity payment. To record any day that an employee works during their paternity leave, click the calendar button within the statutory payment section on the employee's payslip. On the employee's calendar, highlight the day or days the employee is attending work and then select the return to work day option on the right hand side. BrightPay will automatically apply the rule in the payroll that no SPP is payable for any week in which the employee works.